good morning you find me on a grey and pretty chilly December Friday morning heading for my next little trip and today we're going to be exploring the railways of Southend-on-Sea so welcome to the British Railroaders Railways of Southend-on-Sea part one the Liverpool Street Line <laughs> So you may be wondering why I'm starting with Southend Airport, especially Southend Airport isn't actually in Southend on the Sea. Well, if you go that way, east towards Southend Victoria Station, a few hundred yards there's a bridge called Warner's Bridge, and that's actually the dividing line between Rochford District and Southend City. And let's face it, the place is called Southend Airport. If you ask anybody, where is Southend Airport? They'll tell you it's in Southend on Sea. And they're kind of right, half of it sits in Southend on Sea, the other half sits in Rochford. But they never call it Rochford Airport, so Southend Airport it is. And I decided to start here because there are only three stops um, between, well, there's only two stops after this that reaches Southend on Sea. So if I'd just done those two stops, it would have been an even shorter video. Maybe that might have been a good thing, who knows. So Southend Airport Station is the newest station on the line and as you can see it's quite um, futuristic. It was only built, um, well only a few years ago, by a few years ago, it's probably about 10 or 15 but um, it's not been here that long compared to the other stations and it was built specifically to serve Southend Airport over there which sadly since coronavirus um, doesn't see as many flights as it used to. That's a nice little airport to go from. But yes, this station, even though it's called Southend Airport Station and serves Southend Airport, is actually in the district of Rochford, which is next door. Right, probably time for me to catch a train and get to our next station, which is Prittlewell. So here we are at Prittlewell station. This is this is my local station. Um, you've probably seen it in previous videos. There's not much to it. A couple of platforms. There's a booking office which is open sometimes, normally in the morning. A ticket machine and basically some seats. There's not much here. Um, there's not even a coffee shop. So uh, let's just wait for our next train. South and Victoria, the terminus of the line. Um, there are four platforms here, which um, makes it a kind of biggish station. But uh, 
I think that South End Central, which we will see in a future video, which actually you've seen in one of my previous videos, um, most certainly um, I think is the busier of the two big South End stations. But um, we're just heading into the station after getting off the train and we're at Journey's End. Here we are, journey's end, behind me, South End Victoria Station. It's been a short journey, but um, I thought I'd start with the Liverpool Street Line um, for my first video, just to ease you into it, um, don't get you overexcited. But thank you for watching, um, it's been fun. Um, I hope it's just giving you that little insight into one of the railway lines that um, goes into the city that I live in, South End on Sea. But thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you like the channel. But this is Steve, British Rail Rider, saying goodbye from South End Victoria Station. See you soon.